Microsoft recently introduced Copilot Agents, specialized AI assistants designed to take Microsoft 365 Copilot to the next level by connecting directly to your organization's knowledge and data sources. They have also made it easier for business users and citizen developers to create and deploy these agents. With tools like the Agent Builder, integrated into Microsoft 365 Copilot UI, SharePoint agents that can be built right from your document libraries, and the flexibility of Copilot Studio for customizing instructions, knowledge sources, and actions, there is so much potential here. In this video, I'm going to show you a fully functional business travel agent I built using Copilot Studio. It's simple, practical, and designed to make planning business trips super efficient. Before we dive into the live demo of our business travel agent, it's important to first understand the high-level architecture of the solution. To start, let me emphasize that our agent is a declarative agent, meaning it operates based on predefined instructions and configurations without requiring any custom coding. Declarative agents use the Microsoft 365 Copilot Orchestrator and extends its capabilities by incorporating enterprise business data through knowledge sources and actions. Let's quickly break down the main components of a declarative agent so you can see how it all comes together. So as mentioned earlier, a declarative agent utilizes the existing Copilot foundation models and, and the Copilot orchestrator. And building on this foundation, additional components are layered to enhance its functionality. First, uh, we have the instructions. These define the primary functions and overall behavior of the agent. So basically, they tell the agent what it's supposed to do. And next are the knowledge sources. These are where the agent gets its information. It can pull from unstructured data like, uh, for example, SharePoint document libraries, uh, or from other sources such as wikis, uh, internal websites, and more. This is what enables the agent to answer questions effectively. Finally, we have the actions. This allows the agent to actually do things like querying real-time data from internal systems or submitting a request to another system. Actions are what make the agents not just smart, but also useful. And this type of agents can be published in only two channels, the Microsoft 365 Copilot Business Chat Experience or Microsoft Teams. Now let's dive into the functionality and high-level architecture of our agent. Our agent is designed to assist with the following use cases. Answer questions about internal events, workshops, or conferences hosted by the company. Provide information about internal business travel policies. List corporate approved airlines and hotels. Help create a business trip itinerary and submit travel booking requests. All right, let's break down the architecture of my business travel agent and see how everything fits together. So first up, we have the core of the agent, the custom instructions. This defines the overall behavior and ensure the agent knows exactly how to handle different scenarios. Next, uh, let's talk about the knowledge sources. I have included two key ones, um, the internal event site, which hosts uh, all the details about the hackathon event I will be attending, and the HR policy site, where we can find the latest business travel policies from HR. These knowledge sources will help the agent answer questions quickly and accurately. Now, onto the actions, uh, I have created three AI prompts. One for the listing corporate approved airlines, another for listing approved hotels for my trip, and uh, a third prompt to help me create a detailed business trip itinerary. But that's not all. I also have integrated some powerful connectors. For example, there is a custom connector to interact with an external API for currency conversion. Then I am using the MSN weather connector to provide real-time weather updates. And finally, I am using the SharePoint connector that submits travel booking requests and stores them in a SharePoint list. 
So with this architecture, the agent can handle everything from answering questions and creating itineraries to submitting travel requests and even converting currencies. Pretty exciting, right? Let's see it in action. So to access my business travel agent, I will start by opening the Microsoft 365 Copilot business chat experience. And uh, from there, I will select my, my agent from the right hand panel. By default, the, the agent provides a, a list of suggested prompts to help me get started, but I can also type my own custom prompts if I prefer. In this case, I want to find more information um, or more details about an internal event I will be attending. So I will ask the, the agent, um, when is the agent creation hackathon event? And as you can see, the agent quickly give me, gives me an accurate response to my question. Uh, what is great about this interaction is that the agent pulled this information directly from a SharePoint site. If I need to double check or get more details, I can click uh, on the site link and review the details here. As you can see, we have it, the event details, prerequisites, agenda, and more. Now, I want to learn more about the event's agenda, so I will ask the agent, um, could you please uh, provide more details about the agenda? And as you can see here, the agent has provided the agenda for the first day, which is super helpful. Uh, but since I also want to see the agenda for the rest of the event, I will follow up with a, another prompt. Um, for example, share details for day two and day three. And just like that, the agent provides the full agenda for all three days. Finally, I want to check uh, if there are any prerequisites for participating in the event. So let's ask, ask the agent the following. Um, could you please confirm if there are any prerequisites for participating in the hackathon? Awesome. The agent provides the detail. And now I have all the information I need about the hackathon and I'm ready to start organizing my trip. Now I went to prepare for my trip, so I will start by asking about travel budget limits. So as you can see, the agent has generated a summary of travel budget uh, limits for both domestic and international trips. Uh, it's worth noting that this information was extracted from the travel guidance FAQ document stored in a SharePoint document library. Next, uh, based on this information, I want to calculate the approximate total expenses for my trip since it's an international trip. Now, let's ask the agent the following. Based on that information, could you assist me in calculating the expenses for a five-day trip for an international trip? And there we go. The agent suggests a total budget of $3,125 uh, for my trip. Super helpful, right? However, since I have Peruvian soles, I will need help converting that amount from dollars to soles. Now, let's ask the agent, um, could you help me convert $3,125 to Peruvian soles? And as you can see, the agent leveraged an internal action to perform the conversion for me. In this case, it has used um, a custom connector. And we will dive uh, deeper into how that works later. Now, let's try another query. Which expenses are eligible for reimbursement and what is the procedure to reporting them? So once again, the agents provides a very well-organized answer. 
What's fascinating here is uh, how the agent extracts relevant information from different parts of the document and consolidates everything into a single comprehensive response. For example, when it comes to reporting uh, the reporting procedure, the agent uh, even provides like step-by-step -step, uh, instructions. And interestingly, if we look into the original document, the content is an structure uh, in that way. So the agent intelligently reorganized the information to make it more actionable and user-friendly. All right, so far we have explored how to interact with the agent through the Microsoft 365 Copilot Business Chat Experience. But did you know we can also access our agent as a Teams application? Let's take a look at that experience. Okay, so here is my business travel agent now deployed as a Teams application. You will notice that the app provides the same user experience as when accessing it through the Microsoft 365 Copilot Business Chat Experience. Just to test the user experience, let's ask a simple questions like um, how do I request access to a company building at my destination? So it immediately provides an answer to my question with the specified details. And I also can verify that this information comes from the Travel Guidance FAQ document. Great. Uh, at this point, I have all the information I need about the budget and travel expenses. The next step is to plan my trip. Uh, let's start by asking about corporate approved airlines and hotels. Now, since my trip is to Las Vegas, I will specify that I'm looking for approved hotels in Las Vegas and specifically for approved US airlines. So here is the prompt I will use. And the agent responds with a very detailed answer. What's interesting here is that it leveraged two actions to provide this information. One to retrieve the, the list of approved airlines, as you can see here, and the other to retrieve the list of hotels. All right, now I know which hotel I will be staying at and which preferred airlines to use. Next, it's time to plan my itinerary. But first, let me check the weather in Las Vegas to decide what clothes to pack. So uh, here is my prompt. What is the weather like in Las Vegas? And there we go. Awesome. OK, now let's move on to creating the itinerary for my business trip. As you can see, I have already submitted a prompt to my agent. In this case, I have specified that I want to create an itinerary for my business trip, and I have provided enough information so the agent will use my action to capture all the info relevant information and suggest uh, the best itinerary for me. As you can see in my prompt, I specify in details like, such as the, the city, in this case Las Vegas, the uh, event start, Time, uh, date and end date, the event start time and end time, and the, even the hotel in which I'm going to be staying. And as you can see here, the agent has provided a very detailed recommendation of, a, of an itinerary for my business trip, taking into consideration all the inputs that I have already provided and that the agent has extracted from the prompt. To wrap things up, now that I have all the details of my trip, I'm going to proceed and submit a travel booking request. So I'm going to write, I would like to create a travel booking request. And the agent is asking for additional information. So I will provide the required details in the following prompt that I already have prepared.
So the agent extracts uh, the relevant details for my response and proceeds to submit the request for my internal system. And after just a few seconds, I receive a notification in Teams um, confirming that the booking request has been submitted. And I can even access the details of the, of the request. In this case, the request uh, was stored in a SharePoint list and a Power Automate flow processed it and sent me the notification. So awesome. We have now explored the full functionality of our agent and seen how it can help streamline the process of preparing for my next business trip. In the next video, we will explore Copilot Studio and the main components and settings for this agent. Hope this video was informative for you and thanks for watching.